Hey guys, this is Huawei D15 2020 model uh, with AMD Ryzen 5 processor and today we're gonna replace the Wi-Fi card. As you probably know, this uh, laptop is supplied with Realtek uh, 802.11ac Wi-Fi card and in my opinion it's quite weak, it's not uh, performing so well as I wish, so I decided to replace it with the newest Intel card. So let's jump right in and open this laptop. To open this you need Torx T5 screwdriver and you need to unscrew all of those uh, screws on the back cover. So as you can see our Wi-Fi card is located here. We need just peel off this film. Then we need to pry out those two antenna connectors. Be careful. Just remember the place where they were. Then unscrew the Wi-Fi card with Philips head screwdriver and take it out. So as you can see, we had a Realtek uh, model RTL 8822. And, and as I said before, this is not quite good. Uh, Wi-Fi card and I decided to replace it with AX uh, Intel latest AX uh, card uh, 210. I explain why I've chosen this one. You can either choose AX 200 uh, or AX with a Wi-Fi 6 only support or either AX 210 with a Wi-Fi 6E support but Wi-Fi 6E is not currently approved in all countries so keep that in mind it's a future-proof card. I haven't chosen uh, 201 AX201 because AX201 is compatible only with Intel chipsets. And this particular modification of D15 has AMD Ryzen. So if you have D15 with Intel, uh, chipset with Intel processor, you can uh, also choose uh, 201. So let's just install it back in place. Our new card. Just be gentle when you're inserting those uh, antenna connections. Uh, do not bend uh, the connectors on the card because <laughs> before I tried also replace the card and I unfortunately bended uh, those connectors on previous cards. So now it's everything is okay. Just make sure they are not lifting and sitting in place. Yeah, like this. Put back the film and screw the uh, back cover. Or oh, if someone, uh, I read the comments about my uh, video about replacing HDD. In this laptop as you can see I have removed this I'm not using an, uh, a second HDD in this laptop now. The uh, D15 2021 model it has this place for second SATA SSD or HDD but it doesn't have this connector I don't know why on motherboard there is no connector for this cable so unfortunately you can cannot uh, add second uh, drive to Matebook D15 2021 model. I, re I repeat, this is 2020 model, so it's possible to put additional drive here. Okay, covers in place. Make sure you have put it properly. Just press couple of times gentle press and let's power laptop on and see at our new Wi-Fi card as you can probably see here drivers were automatically installed I didn't install any uh, third-party drivers any Intel drivers for Intel website but anyway I will download Intel drivers and support assistant I will install it and you can see here, yes, now we have Wi-Fi 6 is connected. Let's wait until the drivers will be installed uh, successfully. And we have uh, 1200 megabits per second speed. Before I had about 800, uh, 880 megabits per second in AC mode. I'm using ASUS RT AX 86U router. It's quite good router, very, very good, very performable. 
let's rest restart our PC. So now we installed the latest software and all of our Wi-Fi drivers are up to date. As you can see, yes, we have 1.2 gigabits per second uh, connection speed. Uh, but one thing you will lose when you upgrade into Intel Wi-Fi card that this Huawei PC Manager utility, I think, will no longer will be able to check Wi-Fi driver update, even though it uh, shows that uh, Wi-Fi driver is okay. I don't think that this one can check the version of uh, Intel Wi-Fi driver, so you have to use Intel driver support assistant, but it's no big deal. Let's take a look on the results of speed test. On the left you can see that uh, I used Crystal Disk Mark to test the speed between the laptop's Wi-Fi and uh, SSD connected to my router, I repeated ASUS RTAX86U and it has a USB 3.0 port and SSD we are connected uh, to this uh, USB 3.0 port. Uh, the speed difference is quite significant but I don't know why the write speed on the AX card is lower, but overall it's higher. And on the right you can see the speed test results of JJPerf. It, the it's the speed between Huawei D15 with AX card and AC card and my PC which is connected to router via 2.5 gigabits per second port. So uh, in case of AC card we have about 500 megabits per second and in case of AX card we have speeds about 950 megabits per second which is quite significant difference so overall i am satisfied with this upgrade if you want to buy this wi-fi card i will put some link in the video description and now thanks guys for watching please hit that like button subscribe to my channel and i will see you in the next video